Okay, this is going to be uh, how to solve for tensions in a pulley situation. Okay? It's like a little kid wrote it. Um, so let's uh, let's set it up here with uh, uh, I want that to be a different color. Uh, I want it to be this color. Oh, whatever. Okay. So this is. Uh, this is meant to represent our pulley. All right, and we'll draw <clears throat> two objects hanging from the pulley, one on either side. We'll make them different masses. One there, one there. So this is a rope going over top of a pulley. Okay. Let's move that rope right over the top. Awesome. And put a mass on each side. See what we can figure out about it. And we'll actually give it a value. Let's say this is 10 kgs and this is 12 kgs. And let's say there is no um, friction here. The question is, um, what tension is there here? Okay. Um, and I guess one other thing we can ask is find the acceleration of this system as well. So find the acceleration of the system. So the first thing I think this is a frictionless system that you will expect to see is that there will be an acceleration um, to the writer or I guess clockwise if you want but this will tend to accelerate in this direction are you with me okay so I would start a problem like this with drawing in the forces that I know Right? Um, so, the force here is going to be gravitational force on this, right? And then, same thing over here. What is that G prime? What is MG? Let's attach numbers to this and see if we can figure out what's going on. Um, so M times G here, 10 kgs, times 9.81 meters per second squared, gives us uh, roughly 98 newtons, down to the left, and then 12, eight. about what 116-ish it's about this or just double check it's actually 117 easy fix okay so You've got something pulling down to the left, and you've got something pulling to the right. Um, what we have to do first is we have to find the net force on this system, right? Um, so net force is going to be basically the sum of these two opposing forces. I like to do this with, with magnitude and vector arrows. So what makes most sense to me for something like this is to say that the net force on here is going to be the big one, Subtract the little one, right? This goes to the right. You might also see it as this. OK. 
okay? Which means the same thing. It just depends on what works better for your brain. Would you prefer to see it as 117 plus negative 98 or 117 minus 98? Uh, it's completely up to you. Um, this is probably the preferred way to do it. Um, but again, I'm not going to get overly caught up in, in how you do it. What, I, what I'm interested in is if you understand it or not. So the result here then is uh, 19 newtons. And that is in the rightward direction, right? Towards this way. We're looking at the top of the pulley. would tend to rotate this way. So let's first figure out what that does in terms of acceleration of the system. Okay? So acceleration of the system is all of the force divided by all of the mass. So we should get 19 newtons divided by 22 kilograms. So remember that this force is acting on the total mass of the system. This is the net force on the system. It's acting on the net mass of the system. Okay. You get um, about 0 0.86 meters per second squared in a rightward direction. Okay. Now, I asked about tension. Okay. So what is tension again? What is tension? Anybody? So what we're going to do now that we're asked to deal with tension is we're just going to look at one side of the system. Okay. Um, so let's drop in a little line here. Um, why this always seems so difficult. Okay, we're just going to look at the right half of the system. Okay. To try to look at it all at once uh, is a little bit too difficult. So what do we know about this system? Well, we know that there's a 0 point, <laughs> look at that, 0 0.86 meters per second squared acceleration in this direction. I don't like it. Okay, it's like tracing for little kids. 0.86 meters per second squared in this direction. So we're just going to redraw that down below, and this will help us think about tension. So what we're going to look at is we're going to look at our rope. I don't want you to be dotted, though. Okay. And we'll look at our mass. Struggling. We're going to get through this. Now let's just say you're presented with this information. You've got 12 kilograms and you're given 0 0.86 meters per second squared down and you're asked what must be the tension here? All right. How do you go about solving something like this? I think the first thing you should ask yourself is if tension were zero, what acceleration would we have? If, it, if tension were zero, if we cut this rope, right? What acceleration would we have? Feel, yeah, not 12 times gravity, that'd be the force. The acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared, right? It's just in free fall. So there's got to be, right? Just, I know you know this, but there's got to be an upward pull on this slowing that acceleration down, reducing that acceleration. So here's how I want to here's how I want to look at it. Well, what forces do we have? What forces are going on and how do they work? So there's a net force overall. The net force is going to be equal to fg versus ft. By the way now, which one of these forces is larger? FG has to be larger, right? Because there's an accelerating force to the right. We have an acceleration. It has to be larger than T. So you, the, the correct answer is not the tension is equal to uh, MG. That's not right because we have this residual acceleration. It's, FG has to be larger. So the way I'll write this 
is we'll use magnitudes and we'll say the force of gravity subtract whatever tension is acting in the other direction should leave us with our overall net force on this system. Are you okay with that? So then we have this and, and we know that the, the overall acceleration is based on the net force. So this is equal to mass times acceleration, right? The mass is 12, the acceleration is that 8.6. The force of gravity on here is mg, right? The force of tension is, well, it's what we're after at the end of the day, right? So you see where we're going with this? So the mass times acceleration is 12 kilograms. The acceleration of the system, I think, was 8 point, what, what I forget, 8.6? Holy smoke. 0 0.86. This is what getting older does to you. Like 0 0.86 meters per second squared. Um, should we do our... It probably would have been better to, to not put numbers in yet, but... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract this off this side. So we'll get this. Uh, 12 kilograms... Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Because um, we'll get a negative number over here, which is what we sort of expect if there's a negative there. So let's do the math and see what we get. So when we come back out uh, after doing the math, we end up with this scenario. Uh, since they're both negative, right, we can just knock the negatives off. And 107.3 newtons. Okay.